Hello fellow makers and welcome back to 3D Printed Soup and part 4 of our 3D Printed Soup 80s Action Figures 3D Print Month. Okay, slightly longer than a month but let's not split hairs here. But yes, we're on our final part of this four part series and I am going to be doing Masters of the Universe. No, not that one. Oh god, definitely not that one. Oh no, you're just being stupid. Yeah, that one. That's the one. The 1980s one, which was just absolutely awesome and had some really incredible action figures. And this was a cartoon series where the action figures were actually out before the cartoon series. And the cartoon series was made to go along with the action figures, as it should be. So, I chose to print the figurehead of Masters of the Universe, He-Man, because it's He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. And yeah, I loved the original He-Man. He had the Really, really cool strapped on armour. He had the sword, he had the shield, he had the axe. I don't remember him actually ever using in the comic, but hey, when you've got that massive sword of power, why would you want an axe? So yeah, I had a dig around on the 3D printing sites and I found this really, really cool version of He-Man. It doesn't have the rubber band um, system which the original action figures had, but quite frankly, uh, ball and socket joints are perfectly fine with me. They work very, very well. But yeah, join me as we travel back to 1983 and He-Man and the Masters of the Universe ruled the playground. Suck it, Star Wars. Before I continue with the print though, thanks to everyone who has liked and subscribed. Your support is hugely, hugely appreciated. And yeah, the numbers are growing and growing. If you're not subscribed yet, then hold it off your magic sword and cry out, I have the power, and then click the subscribe button. And you'll stop being Orko, and you can start being Man at Arms or somebody cool like that. My god, he had an awesome stash. Now, let's get on and print ourselves a he man action figure from 1983. Let's give this a try. And with the parts printed and assembled, it's time to get this thing put together. So first thing you do is we're going to get rid of any layer lines or support material marks which are on the print. So we're going to sand those down with some fine grit sandpaper. And yeah, we're going to move on to the resin parts after that. And these should all now clip together. Absolutely lovely. There we go. Just balance them there carefully. And let's try and get these arms on. Didn't happen because they were a little bit uh, tight. So I soaked them in warm water. Also, that didn't work either because it wasn't quite warm enough. So I went and got some boiling water instead. And yeah, those popped on straight away with no issue whatsoever. So yeah, with him fully assembled, let's go on and give him a paint. So I'm starting out with some contrast paints uh, on his skin. I'll just get in there. I believe this is Gulliman Flesh. And just get on the edges there, add on his arms as well. And around his neck and on his back here. There we go, just leave that to dry for a bit. While I'm doing that, let's do his face. There we are. We're gonna need a second coat on the face, I think. And then we're gonna apply some lead belcher on his sword, a nice dark silver, which makes it look like a nice lead colour and also on the battle axe there we go nice and shiny and with that done let's assemble him so yep torso goes on the top head goes on the top as well there we are and yeah let's move the arm here oops okay that's uh, gonna need a bit of tightening up so we can just pop that back on there we are that's better 
Ah, uh, yeah, moves up and down nicely. Other arm, a little bit stiff. Might need to go on the sandpaper in a second, but yep, that works lovely. And head as well. Yep, head twists and torso twists. As I said, I didn't have time to put a rubber band in the middle of it, so he is clipped together instead. And yeah, let's get him in focus and let's have a closer look at this guy. Now, one of the most important things of an action figure is his accessories, and He-Man was no exception. He has his sort of power here. That just clips into his hand like so. The sword's made out of PLA, as are the arms, so they are all nice and flexible. And then we've got his shield here. I always love his shield. It's big and chunky. It's kind of a sort of a, a buckler, I believe. And he just goes straight onto his hand and clips on there. And yeah, there he is with his wonderful sword and shield. And this pretty print's looking pretty darn good. Okay, let's get a closer look at him. And with the assembly and painting complete, let's compare the print that I made to the original. And yeah, okay, the original doesn't have quite so much paintwork on it, but yeah, I'm very, very happy with the lightness. And I'm quite happy that this is the last product I've done with this, as this is my favourite print so far. I think the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtle came in a close second. The real Ghostbuster coming in at number three because it had a lovely print quality to it. And I'd say the Star Wars were coming last because I could never quite get that to the print quality I wanted. I like the rocket firing one though, but that really wasn't part of this series. That was a, a little extra I did um, to go between them. So yeah, thank you very much for watching 3D Printed Soup. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, month of 80s action figures. If you've got an idea that you think I should print or an idea for a month's theme, please let me know in the comments below. And if I like it, I will get on and do it. Or you can jump on my Patreon and you can basically put the idea in there. Hey, support is always welcome. So, thanks for watching 3D Printed Soup. Stay happy, stay safe. Keep it 80s.